Welcome to Dateline Abuja. I'm Kayla Magua. The Federal Capital Territory Administration has started the distribution of palliatives to communities in the nation's capital. The administration plans to reach 600,000 households across the six area councils. The next report features the details of the exercise. Officials of the Federal Capital Territory receiving the COVID-19 palliatives from the federal government for the poor and vulnerable in the nation's capital. The items were presented by the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Haji Asadia Farouk, to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Haji Mohamed Belu, at the NYSC Orientation Camp, which has been used as a storage facility for the palliatives. Uh, today we are here on behalf of the federal government of Nigeria. Uh, as we are all aware, Mr. President directed that we give um, uh, palliatives in terms of uh, food relief to the three lockdown uh, affected uh, locations. Uh, the state and federal capital territory that were locked down by the federal government. Uh, so today we are handing over uh, this food relief to the honorable ministers here with me uh, for onward distribution to the poor and vulnerable households in the Federal Capital Territory. The palliatives include five trucks of rice, adding that additional five trucks will be added with two trucks of vegetable oil and 10 tons of grains from the National Reserve. No, like Mubadia or the River Twist, we will always request for more, especially where we know we have the needy, like the mother that we are, both of us, you can see like sweet, I, see, I want to say thank you for considering to add more. But again, like the proverbial Oliver Twist, I'll be on your neck, oh. mm -hmm. you have five down now. For each train arriving, please call me, stop it. We will count me and let it be delivered. But on this note, you will also hear from the residents and indigents of the Federal Capital Territory saying a very big thank you. These trucks, loaded with 25,000 condiments and 25,000 bags of rice, is heading to Abaji Area Council for onward distribution to the vulnerable in the rural communities. This is the pilot phase of the FCT palliatives distribution. The authorities are targeting 600,000 households in the six area councils. The aim is to cushion the effect of the stay-at-home order among the vulnerable ones. Starting with Abaji, uh, area council today. With me are all the ward chairmen, the councillors from each area, from each of the wards, the 10 wards of the Abadi area council. They are here with their nine man team each to escort the trail truck loads of 25,000 condiments and 25,000 bags of rice. This also gives a breakdown of about 2,500 bags of rice for each ward and 2,500 bags of condiment for each ward. This will be done across the six area councils, giving us a total of 600 bags of rice, 600,000 bags of rice and 600,000 bags of condiment. This also, in essence, if you take an arithmetic of at least five people per household. Now we give you a total of five people multiplied by the 100 targeted poor and vulnerable in each area council. That means each area council will be receiving goods targeted at five multiplied by 100,000, that is 500,000 poor and vulnerable people. I think that will go a long way uh, to cushion the effect of the sit at home. And this will be done today. Hopefully, should it prolong and we are not out of the sit at home for situations that cannot be predicted, as directed by Mr. President, it is in the best of our own interest to sit at home. We will revisit this exercise and make the same distribution. Receiving the items on behalf of this council, Chairman of Abaj Area Council, Mr. Abdurrahman Ajia, commends the FCT administration for the palliative. 
assuring that the items would be delivered to the underserved in the council. The Minister of State has said of this dissemination of quality, FCT is not the starting point. We've seen and heard of how these palliatives have been distributed in some states and the complaints that follow this distribution. And I want to assure you that that of FCT, starting from Abaji, is going to be a different one, inshallah. Because we are going to observe social distance in this distribution. We've sensitized our people for all of them to stay in them. And we have assured them that all the stakeholders, all the households, vulnerable ones that have been taken, they should be rest assured that we are going to give them what is due for them in their houses without them coming out or rushing. Kwari is the next stop for the distribution exercise and the Minister of State for the FCT inspects each of the trucks conveying the items to the residents. However, she raises concern over the influx of destitute persons from other states into the nation's capital. Trucks and vehicles are offloading destitutes at the borders of the federal capital territory or in some of our suburbs. This is a cry to residents, both indigenous and non indigen also a cry to the royal fathers, the Khan and the League of Imam and Civil Society organization. So please blow whistle when you see strange people. There is no interstate movement. We don't know how they've been able to arrive here from yesterday. When you see a group of destitutes, please call us. We shall return them back or know what to do. We will be discussing later. But please do not house any guests. Let each state be able to shut and take the responsibility to see how we cut the spread to the BRS minimum. FCT is not a dumping ground. We saw lot, we heard there were lots of people, an influx of destitutes. We'll be walking around the clock 24 hours to pick them out. And most of them will be subjected to tests. Do not endanger the lives of your relatives and yourself by harboring strangers or visitors that are your relatives from another state. I beg you, please blow the whistle. Aside from the identified households, the model adopted by the FCT entails enumeration of the affected households to ensure that no household gets double allocation. A supervising team from the FCT, comprising women, religious groups, civil society organizations, traditional media and security operatives, has also been set up as part of measures to ensure the food is not diverted. A similar distribution exercise is taking to Kuja Area Council. Trucks loaded with 25,000 condiments and 25,000 bags of rice is also distributed in the area council during the exercise.